Hey everyone, today we get to play on Tomb of the Spider Queen. Looks like the enemy team gets to first pick and first ban. And we are the third pick, so we get to be right in that sweet spot between uh, the first pick of the second uh, round of picks and bans. So hopefully we can get a good game here. I think I want to play Kel Fizad. As I just recently bought him, and I've been trying to get a good video with him. So let's try to hover that and see what they say. Looks like we are still going through all of our possibilities. Looks like the fish bone is going to be the enemy team's captain, and retrograding is going to be our team captain. Uh, looks like we are hovering over uh, Tarvuld, which is uh, our Tarvuld's hovering over Artanis, and looks like we are trying to pick up Kerrigan, perhaps. Um, uh, and Sylv Sylvanas or Hanzo, both of them are good bands. Um. <laughs> that's true. That's what, uh. We can chase Sylv down. Uh, especially since we have, uh, Kerrigan. Yeah, she can do that. Um. Well, you can go main tank. What, uh, what does he play mostly? That's actually my... Interesting. Player level 135, he's just starting out. Uh, Rhaegar, he won. Ditches. He plays Hanzo. No. Lili. He must be coming over from another MOBA. Stitches, I guess this is uh, number one. Um. And we'll see how it goes. All right, so there's the double front uh, line that I was hoping for because uh, that is going to give us um, easy stacks on our uh, chains and our blight. Sorry, that's the thing this is called. Um, banning out Jaina. Interesting ban. Uh, there it is. There's his stitches. With this, we might be a little low on damage. The we'll see how well the uh, Artanis does. Um, I'll use my W to help Root as well. Uh, let's see. Looks like they are not going to be banning out the second. So now it's myself and. Stitches. So we are going to go ahead and pick up Kelthazad. With the double front line, we should be able to get our stacks fairly easily. Um, I'm pretty sure Zarya can give spell armor. It's been a while since I played her, but she can. Um, so let's just hope that they don't. We did get rid of the Kerrigan, so there's one less dive. If they go with uh, Chromie, I think I'll be uh, be pretty poor off. Alright, they're going with the triple frontline Valera. Wow. Uh, oh, frontline. Uh, if we uh, can get any kind of percentage-based damage. 
Uh, there we go. That's good. Yep. Uh, actually, Leo is better. We do need a solo laner. <laughs> and he goes back to Artanis. Oh, no. Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, I said Art uh, Leo would have been a great pick. Absolutely fantastic pick. The reason why is because uh, he does do his percentage based damage and he's the soul laner that we need. Uh, right now, it's still going to be Artanis in the soul lane against probably Blaze. So we'll see how well that goes. And we have to worry about the Valera. Um, roaming around. You don't have any kind of vision. Uh, Artanis can get the area effect blind, uh, which would render her, uh, well, which will reveal her and kind of render her a little uh, useless for at least a little bit. Uh, she is going to be going after me though. That is a straight up fact. Um... We are going to go with the Plague Lands. Um, let's see what we can do. Uh, Artana should be in the soul lane. Uh, you'll be surprised at how much damage the Muradin can put out though. You may say that they have low damage, but that Muradin... Oh, well, there's the, uh, there's what we were worried about. All right. Well, that's two quick kills. So, that went pretty well. Uh, let's see here. My Blight and Maria, 8 of 30. Alright, let's just go ahead and make sure. Alright. We do see Kerrigan right there. Dang, missed that. Missed it. Okay. Oh. Alright, let's just go all the way back for mana. Just ensure that we do have it. Uh, 10 of 30, so a third of the way there, and we're a minute 50 in. Uh, once again, triple frontline is going to make this a lot easier than it has to be. We got Kerrigan in the top lane by herself. She is almost out of mana. We have Stitches down in the bottom lane. Alright. There we are. I'll grab that. We'll start with the phylactery now. Let's see if we can't get ourselves. As the shadow we are. Ah, uh, I was trying to hit my W. Uh, get my gems. Perfect. There we go. A nice kill. Alright. Just two more and we get the first part of our quest done. Uh, looks like the stitches went back. Alright. Let's just 
go ahead and I was close, I was very close. All right. I'm just gonna go and see if we can't Uh, we are gonna go with increase death and decay damage. Uh, let's see if... That's some good damage out. Uh, we do see the... All right, that sucks. There we are. That is some damage out right there. Oh, uh, the Kerrigan should be very weary. I think we will be fine here. Alright. The Stitches was able to clear up. Alright. We'll just go ahead and throw our damage out there. Where am I going? Let's just go. All right. There we go. We are just laying in the damage right now. Uh, we're gonna go with the Shadow Fisher. Uh, let's just go and make sure. Alright. That was well done. Let's see, we do need one more. Um, let's see if we can't. Just need one more, there we go. Now I can start healing. Time for us to walk away. Okay.
Looks like we are doing okay. I still haven't quite gotten the combo off yet, but... Let's see. We can go ahead and turn in. So let's go ahead and do that. And not sure why we haven't turned in yet. Oh, 29 gems. There we are. Okay. Uh, Artanis does not want to turn in. Which is kind of upsetting, but... Um... I'm just going to do it. Okay. Well, at least we're doing okay. <laughs> Looks like Artanis completed his quest. Alright, that was a... Uh... Let's go ahead and reduce death and decay cooldown. Um, still have a couple dead. We should probably go and take this. Uh, we do have enough to turn in again. I'm just waiting for... There we go. That we're just going to keep throwing our stuff in here. There we are. Okay. And we'll go ahead and grab that. Looks like the Artanis did turn in. So we, if we want to, we could get another turn in. Let's just go ahead and throw that down. Okay.
There we are. Uh, GG. Oh, uh, we actually got one. I, they didn't actually counter me as much as I thought they would. Uh, Artanis did get MVP. Um, looks like he's the only one that did anything. That's interesting. Uh, I did not hit a single combo. That was the whole goal, is to try to hit that uh, amazing combo. was not able to, but I was able to combo off of the Kerrigan, who was hitting all of hers. Uh, let's look at the stats. The stats we had today were 7 kills, 20 assists, and only 1 death. Looks like our is the only one that didn't die on our team. Uh, Kerrigan had the most hero damage at 45,000. Uh, we were in second at 38. Uh, Blaze. He actually did a lot. He did 41,000 in hero damage. Um, damage taken. He was top on everything on their team. Uh, he, he only died 8 times to the Malfurion. Uh, we caught him out too many times. He died 8 times. Uh, the stats for today is we went with the Plague Lands. Uh, the Phylactery of Kel'Thuzad. Uh, Alex Accelerated Decay. Shadow Fisher. Icy Grasp, and then uh, Arcane Echoes. At level 20, we would have gotten um, the Shade that would uh, cast a second um, Q. So we were specking into the Q all the way through, so that one would have been able to um, at least uh, double, essentially double our damage. But uh, let me know what you guys think and what we could have done a little bit better, and have a great day.